Check this out guys. Hello everyone, welcome to a new adventure. I'm here in the George Washington Recreational Area, which is located in Lost City, West Virginia. And today is gonna to be a special, special day and a special video because for the first time, I'm gonna be introducing my lovely wife. She's here with me today. Come, say hello. This is my lovely wife, Rahel. Hello. She's an awesome wife. And we're gonna be spending about four days together, starting today, which is Sunday, all the way to Wednesday. And we're gonna be camping here at a new spot I've actually never camped before. We're really excited and we're really looking forward to this camping time. And I'm just really excited, to be honest. And it's gonna be very relaxing and we're gonna hopefully do some fishing, maybe some biking. Uh, what else are we gonna do? Eating some delicious food, maybe cooking, mm -hmm. and maybe even uh, hiking. If there's any, any trails here, we're gonna check out. So I'm definitely, Looking forward to this and I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up the tent now and bringing in all the food and just kind of see where things go. So let's check this out. Talking about steaks, it made me hungry to eat some actual steak. <laughs> but today I think we're gonna have some different food today, which I'll show you later. I think it is finished guys, check this out. Let's check out inside. <laughs> we need a mattress. Huh? Yeah, we need a mattress and what else? Check this out, guys. I got the self inflating mattress. I just push a button and it inflates it for me. So convenient. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Well, guys, as you can see, I was trying to pump up the mattress. But as you can see, it's not fully inflated because my battery, it said it died. I'm not sure, I fully charged that at home, but it, it died on me. So I'm gonna try to plug it in and charge it and then see if we can get the mattress fully, fully pumped up. All right, next project, until we wait for the mattress thingamajigger to <laughs> charge up, I'm gonna try to install this hammock. I've never installed a hammock in my life before. This will be my first time. This is a good opportunity if you guys wanna laugh because I'm probably not gonna get it the first time, but. We'll do our best, see what happens. I found this tree here, so hopefully, hopefully between these two trees, I can install the uh, hammock, so we'll try. Never even took it out of the bag yet, so. I've had this hammock for maybe two, three years already, and I just never used it. So I guess today, hopefully we can use it, or at least sometime on this camera trip. Let's just try it, Let's see what happens. I don't know if it's reach all the way here. Kind of. Oops. All right, guys, I just had to put the hammock project on hold for now because my wife is going to cook some delicious food for us. So I'm going to get the fire started first. That way she can start cooking. There you go. Let's see what my wife is cooking over here. Let's see, we got beef. We got green peppers, and we got my favorite vegetable, which is onion, and also garlic. I love garlic as well. So what you cooking, my love? Uh, tips. Uh, what is tips? Uh, tips is basically, the base is this thing, it's uh, 
called Barbari. It has a lot of pepper and a lot of different spices. This is kind no, of like well, a spice powder. Right? Uh, this is the Barbari, yeah. So to make it, you just mix the spices and onion. Mm -hmm. And all this vegetables, uh, right? Yeah, those vegetables and meat. And it's pretty good. Yeah, I had tips before and it's really, really delicious food. It's one of my favorite dishes to eat. It's very juicy, very flavorful, and it has the injera bread, uh, which is kind of looks like a tortilla in a way, but it's not. Um, it's kind of fermented bread, so it's really delicious. I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look like, and I'm really looking forward to eating tonight for dinner, so it's gonna be good. Okay guys, let's continue with our hammock project. As you can see, I found a different tree. This is shorter, so hopefully this, this will work. We found a way how to tie the rope here to the tree. So we're gonna try to see if this works. So, I don't know. Does this look like a hammock? Should we test it out? Okay. It's it working. Huh? But hey, it's working. That's all that matters. Yeah, put it on the <laughs> Oh wow, this is nice. Hey, at least we got it hanging up on a tree. Still feels comfortable. <laughs> Let's try it. See if we can hang it up a little bit higher. Let's hang it a little bit lower, maybe like this. Okay, this is gonna be the final test. Hope this works. Let's check it out. I feel pretty confident. Oh yeah, this is cool. Wow, this is actually comfortable. This feels cool. You wanna come with me, baby, right now? Come on over. <laughs> wow, this is fun. You can hold both of us? It's supposed to. Let's try it. Is it working? Yeah. Oh. Go. <laughs> okay. You wanna lay down? Okay, yeah, it's strong. It is? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh oh, baby, it's burning, it's burning. Oh, okay, she's calling me. Her food is burning, so let's check it out. All right. Success, let's go. I'll for you. Go ahead. <laughs> So by the way guys, I figured out what the problem was with my mattress. You won't believe what it was. You know how the mattress has the uh, opening that you have to open and close to make sure the air stays in the mattress? Guess what, it was open the whole time. <laughs> and I was wondering, what's going on? It was, yeah, a simple mistake. <laughs> it's working now. It is, it should be good now. We're, we're that close. Can't wait to eat this injera. Mm, it's gonna be so good. I mean tips, not injera. <laughs> we are here. And then we're, we're gonna have some tea. I already got some tea bags ready. Gonna be drinking some Earl Grey tea. We got both caffeinated and decaffeinated tea. She likes decaffeinated, I like caffeinated. Check this out, so we're about to eat dinner. We got some tea, almost ready. We got our dessert, and of course our main food, tips with injera. Look at that, my wife did a great job. It looks amazing. Right, let's give this a try. I'm excited. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. As soon as we sat down, the tea got ready. Yay. Mm. Oh, yeah. You can see from this? A little bit. <laughs> it's kind of dark in here already. But, uh. I think we need to put the tea on. Oh yeah. 
Earl Grey Black Tea. Good stuff. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Appreciate that. Alrighty guys, as you can see, we're about to go to bed already. It's been an awesome day. Truly enjoyed it. It was a pretty mm -hmm. awesome first day. We was able to eat some delicious food, was able to enjoy some time next to the campfire, drink some tea. Um, just overall, it's been a fun, pretty awesome day, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we're definitely looking forward to get some rest right now. We woke up early today, so definitely looking forward to this rest and definitely going to be enjoying sleeping in this tent with the fresh air. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to get a little bit chilly tonight, probably in, in lower 50s or so. So we got blankets and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll stay warm. So we'll, we'll let you know how that works out. So anyway, guys, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, oh, this is 6 in the morning and this my wife, <laughs> she's trying to get up all her clothes because <laughs> she's cold, it's like 6 a.m. right now. <laughs> She literally put all the clothes that we got, literally. She probably has five layers or more. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get some more sleep, just maybe for another couple hours, just so we can get warmed up, so. Well, good morning, guys. We just woke up here not too long ago. It's around 10.30 right now, I am. We slept really good so in the beginning it got cold a little bit so we put all the layers that we had how many layers did you put on i had a lot i have three four five <laughs> that's crazy yeah whatever we had i was trying to make sure she's warm we got all the blankets that we had and later man it, it got much warmer so we, we mm -hmm. were able to sleep much more deeper so i had a really good rest definitely probably better than i would would have gotten at home it just felt really good how about you yeah, yeah, I'm very warm right now. Good. It's good, it's comfortable. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna probably get up here soon, read the Bible, pray, um, and then start cooking some breakfast and start this pretty cool day. So let's do this. So uh, we're having, me and my wife right now, we're having our morning, morning devotion and right now we're reading in the book of Jeremiah. Today we're reading two chapters, we're re reading chapter uh, 30 and 31. I'm finishing the chapter right now and it's kind of talking about the children of Judah. I don't, I don't know if you guys know the story or not where they disobeyed God and they were doing their own their own thing and they just kind of was making God upset, you know. They were just following their own heart and just kind of following what they wanted to do now. Not what they promised God a while back, you know, what to do that they're going to follow Him. And God, you know, was going to punish them. He's, he's going to... Basically, the king of Babylon, he was going to go and capture them and take them into captivity. And then later, of course, after they learn their lesson, after they understand that they need God and need to go back to their ways where they have come from, God is going to bring them back to their land. The lesson that kind of that I get from myself from this is that God is like a father to us. You know, if we mess up, he's going to punish us. He has to because he's a father and he loves us. A, a loving father will punish, you know, his children and he will correct them. Right. He'll correct them and he will bring them back to the right path. So that's what I see here in the story is that he's trying to teach the children of Judah to, to do the right thing and to come back to their ways and to, to love God. And even he says, this is like a famous verse, I think a lot of people know right there, uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, that's a famous verse. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. You know, God's intentions are not to hurt us or to do something wrong to us, you know. Mm -hmm. He loves us so much. He's just trying to show us the right way to go and to correct us, you know, whenever we we do something wrong. So that's a good thing, not a bad thing, you know. So if we truly are the children of God and we love God, it's a good thing that God corrects us. That way we become better people and become better and love God more, you know. So the last part here I've learned is that God is going to make a new covenant or like a new promise, a new agreement with the children of Israel 
that they're gonna know God inside. They don't need they don't need other things to tell them who God is. They're already gonna know in their heart, right? And I think this is talking about when Jesus is gonna come later down the line and he's gonna come and die for our sins like he did for us already. And that way we don't have to sacrifice goats and sheep and stuff like mm -hmm. that. We just need to believe the Bible says, you know, believe in God and we'll be saved. So anyway, it's a good lesson today. I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Um, I really like reading the Bible in the beginning when I wake up because this just gives me a good start for the day, right? Yeah. Just gives me a good lesson and basically it's a good way that we can hear God speak to our hearts. That was crazy, they just cut a tree down. <laughs> well, I think it's too late to see this time. Looks like fish. <laughs> it does. It? Check this out guys. Gonna be our breakfast this morning. Avocado toast, right? This is called avocado toast. Basically, it's sourdough bread, avocados, mayonnaise, egg, and some lemon, just bread on top, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Good stuff. Lemon on the avocado. Yeah, let's get a drink of water first. And our tea here is boiling, so I'm gonna have some tea with some dessert later. How is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm excited to try it. Very good. Love it. Uh oh, the thing is gonna be it. It's all right. I'll survive. <laughs> <laughs> Come this way. Look at more. Look at. After this breakfast, we're gonna try to do some fishing. Hopefully, hopefully, gonna take our bikes to the lake, which I've never been to. So, we'll see what happens. Baby, come through. I think I'm gonna move. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's not good. <laughs> All right, guys, time for some tea. Pour some in here. My wife, she's doing the raspberry tea. I'm doing Earl Grey. We had to make sure we tell our family that we're going camping for a couple of days because there's literally no service here, zero. So we just didn't want them to worry. So I'm glad we did that because I would have probably worried if I didn't tell them. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, so we're glad we did that. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go do some fishing or at least try to see if we can catch anything. <laughs> we got our fishing supplies here, as you can see, our bucket, our chairs, we got the fishing poles, Let's do this? Uh -huh. All right, let's go. Hopefully we're going down the right trail. The sign did show this way, right? The sign did show that this is the trail for the trout pond. So I hope we make it to some kind of lake or something. Yeah. Imagine bringing all this gear and we came to nothing. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Good. This is a really pretty spot so far. I really like it. Very peaceful. Just spacious. And you got everything you need. Restrooms right here. You got picnic tables. See? Wanna do it right here?
Well, we've been fishing maybe an hour or so and so far nothing yet. Uh, we passed a guy, he said there were some bites down that way, but I just want to stay here in this location. My wife here, she's in the in the shadow here a little bit, relaxing, eating sunflower seeds and just having a good time. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, let me show you what I'm do, trying to do. I'm just kind of, I just kind of put the worms inside, you know, the fishing poles here and just kind of let them lay here for a little bit just to see if I catch anything. But so far, no bites. Whoa, this is far, baby. I think you put in there. Oh. Maybe something like that. Yep. <laughs> Did we get a bite? I don't know. Probably not. I think it's just tight. Oh. Check this out. Check this out. Got my first fish of the day. Yay. It's a small one, but I got it. I'm not sure which it is. Probably a trap since it's a trap pond, but got one. Ah, I got it. I got it. Look at it, guys. Right here. I'm gonna let it go. It's a small one. Got one more, guys. <gasps> really? Check this out. <laughs> that could be, we gotta cut it into half. Uh, so this is not a bass what because he said the tail will be black. Hmm? I don't think it's a bass because he, uh, the guy said the tail has to be black. Check this out guys. If I had to guess this is probably a two, uh, not tuna, sorry, trout. Maybe because it has the yellow. But oh, man, this thing is scary. Look at the spikes and stuff. <laughs> I didn't capture it on camera, but I just got the fourth fish of the day. You just caught a fish? <laughs> That's so funny. We were untangling, we were untangling uh, the tangle, and look, my, my wife she got a mini fish. <laughs> Super cool, our first fish of the day. Ooh, very cool. <laughs> All right, just gotta get it like this. But becoming professional now. Okay, we'll throw it back in the water. Adios, amigos. Adios. We caught a total of five fish. We kept one. I'm excited about that. We're gonna hopefully cook it tonight for dinner. Now I want to kind of get the fish to lay it and ready to to cook and stuff. Don't laugh because this will be literally my first time for laying a fish. I don't know how to do it, but uh, we're gonna find out together today. <laughs> so let's check it out. Man, this fish is hard to cut, but we got the tail off. Let's wash it. I'm gonna wash it, and this is probably what I'm gonna eat, guys. Right here, this little piece, <laughs> because I feel like I did it wrong, but it's my first time, so. All right, guys, as you can see, we got some of our fish inside here that we kind of try to cook, and we got some chicken sausage as well. My lovely wife is preparing everything. All right, so this is what we're gonna eat today. We got the chicken sausage with the uh, fish. Hopefully, you could see it mixed in there. Uh, we got our regular dessert, cookies with strawberries again, and the leftover injera meat with Tibbs. Oh wait, no, it's called Tibbs. Yep, I forgot. Time to try this food. So this one, please be careful, baby. It has a lot of bone. Come along. All right, let me try the fish. Where is it? Is this fish? Oh yeah, but be careful. It has a lot of bone. Wow. It's that actually very actually. tasty. Yeah. Very tasty. Wow. You already had some, right? You already tried some before? Mm -hmm, yeah. On the fire? It's pretty good. Man, you're right. The fish is tasty, even though it's a little bit left. Oops. Mm. You're right, dude. It was a good That's amount, so cool. but when it's cooked, it disappears. It's okay. There it is. It's all of it right here. Be careful, be careful when you eat it. Some of them have. Oh, this one. No, this one is just a salty. Eat it, baby. A... Wow, but... this is so cool. First time actually catching the fish, cooking it, taking it apart. Like, this is super cool. After fishing for what, seven hours <laughs> today? We're hungry. Mm -hmm. Let's drink tea. Yeah. Exactly. We just gotta make sure, because it's so dark in here, we had to put our light, make sure there's no bugs in our tea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to drink bugs, so. Whew, what a beautiful evening. We've got fire going on here. We got a full moon lighting up and got a dessert and our tea. <laughs> It's gonna be a nice relaxing evening. It's already what time? In about nine minutes will be quiet time, so be quiet. <laughs> Alright 
guys it's been an awesome day awesome Monday had a fun day but now we are tired and we're ready for bed so yeah see you guys tomorrow have a good night Hey, good morning guys. We slept really good last night. You slept really good, right? Yeah. She put all her layers of clothes like yesterday and she <laughs> said she felt, went to sleep right away. Mm -hmm. And I, me too, I slept pretty good. I was a little bit cold, but I was okay. I still slept really deep, had some dreams uh, about <laughs> different things, <laughs> but it was a good deep sleep. Um, it's already 11.02 uh, a.m. We already went, uh, took, took our showers, brushed our teeth, all that. So we're just gonna read the Bible, pray, get the day started and then start making some breakfast. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be our last official full day at camp. It's kind of sad, I wanna stay here longer. <laughs> it's been fun, but we're gonna enjoy all this day to the fullest. All right guys, so today we're reading another chapter in the book of Jeremiah. We read today chapter 32, and in this chapter, basically God is telling Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah, to buy a piece of land, I believe from his uncle. And what's so interesting is because God knew the future, and to me this is a good lesson that if we have God with us God is gonna take care of us he's gonna help us he might even tell us the future he can show us what to do and he will guide us in a way in a, in, a, in a path where it's gonna help us in the future we might not know it but God will guide us that's gonna benefit us in the future that's what happened to Jeremiah is because God told him to buy this land right before the Babylon was gonna capture the city of Jerusalem right before they were gonna the, children of Judah were, go, were gonna go into captivity, right? I feel like, you know, Jeremiah had to buy this land because the Bible tells us that in the future, after the, the children of Judah get captured, after years, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 years, I already forgot, but they're gonna come back to Jerusalem and they're gonna build houses, they're gonna still have land and things like that. Here, I'm gonna read you this verse. He says, For thus saith the Lord, like as I have brought all this great evil upon this people, so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them, and fields shall be bought in this land, whereof ye say, It is desolate without man or beast. It is given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Men shall buy fields for money, and subscribe evidences, and seal them, and take witnesses in the land of Benjamin, and in the, and in the places about Jerusalem. This is just a lesson I got for myself, that when we have God of our side, when you know God is with us, He's going to help us. He's going to bring good things to us, um, and He's going to bless us, and He's going to lead us the right way, you know? Like He, like he led Jeremiah the right way. Even though something bad was going to happen to Babylon, I mean, something bad was, was about to happen to Jerusalem, God was still taking care of him and showing him where to go. And the second lesson I learned is that God punishes those who do wrong because God is holy. He has to, you know. So God, God is a loving God, but he's also a God of justice. And that's what he, he was doing here with the children of Judah. You know, they were getting captive by Babylonians and then they would, God will bring them back. Yes. You agree? Yeah, do you have I anything agree. to add? I think you said it all. All right, mm -hmm. we're gonna go ahead and pray and start making breakfast. All right guys, so we're gonna start off this morning. We're gonna make a fire since it's already already 12 o'clock. We're gonna skip breakfast and we're gonna go straight to lunch. <laughs> so we're gonna try to cook some burgers today. I'm really excited. So let's get this fire started. Looking beautiful. I got a joke for you guys. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. <laughs> oh. You want a square burger? <laughs> Let's try it. I've never something. done it before. Let's try a square burger. <laughs> oh my god, square. <laughs> Triangle, we're gonna make some triangle burgers. Hey, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> we can make any shape we want. Wow. 
What did you think of the ketchup? I really like the ketchup. Mm -hmm. Pretty good ketchup. Mm -hmm. Is it healthy? Hopefully. <laughs> it says it has three natural ingredients on the front here. It tastes better than like Walmart ketchup, definitely. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, the lunch slash breakfast was really good. So now we just want to go do some bike biking down that same trail we were fishing yesterday. So hopefully it's going to be fun. That's good. Yeah. Check it out. Let's go. My brakes make a lot of noise. So I, try, I try to be careful. I don't want to spook anybody. <laughs> And it's much cooler here in the forest. Yeah, go straight ahead. Let's continue. We're gonna we're gonna leave our bikes here because we want to check out this trail here. It's also like a little pond we've never been to, so we just want to check it out. Lars? <laughs> Have some sharp stuff. No way. Good job, baby. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. Do something beautiful. Push harder, push harder. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is a hill. Finally, the path looks a little bit easier to bike on, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. <laughs> Give a little bit of a bike ride. Ooh, that's cool. back this is the end of the loop here we made it back my wife was right <laughs> this is the end of the loop give you a biking tour of our home <laughs> there we go wow can't believe it this hammock fits two people let's go <laughs> Super cool. Just kind of resting a little bit after the bike ride, right? It was still fun. 
That trail wasn't easy though. I did not expect it to be that hard. So most of the trail, as you can see, we didn't really bike much. Kind of moved our bikes, but it was still really fun. Really beautiful area and... I think they are made for hiking, not for biking. Yes, yes. I would totally hike that trail again. Mm -hmm. This is so awesome. I'll show you guys what the sky looks like here. My wife and I are back here at our fishing spot where we caught five of our fish. So we're just gonna relax here for the next two, three hours once the sun sets and just kind of read a book, see if we can catch some fish or not, but just have a good relaxing evening to our last full day here at camp. guys so we haven't caught anything or haven't had any bites so it's gonna get dark here in one hour so we just want to go to camp right and cook some food that way it's still light that way we can enjoy our last final day at camp Hey babe, what you cooking for dinner? Vegetables with uh, chicken. That sounds so I got good. Some onions, peppers, yellow like yellow and green peppers, mushrooms, and chicken. Yeah, that looks amazing. And I think we're gonna make some potatoes, right? Here, I'm gonna make some potatoes, yeah. but I need to wash them first, and I'm gonna throw them into the fire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash these now, real quick. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> my light fell. I'm gonna fix that real quick. I'm looking forward to baked potatoes. I haven't had one in a while and fresh from the fire. It's mm. gonna be so good. There we go. Cooking our mixed vegetables with chicken. And I don't know if you can see or not, but I did put the uh, potato there. As you can see guys, we added the chicken already. Right there. Cooking pretty well. We're gonna go see how my potatoes turned out. So I'm gonna go get the potato out and see if it's cooked much better now. We got some light, so let's open it and see how this turned out. Oh yeah. The crust feels on the outside, feels uh, crunchy, but looks like it's cooked real well. Let me give a fork test. Try a piece. Oh, my light fell. Bear with me guys. I'll tell you. Okay, so far it's cooked. Let's try this. Perfect. Alrighty guys, so we're finishing off this last day here in our tent. So we cooked all our food as you guys have seen, but unfortunately it started like to rain a little bit and just got windy and things like that. We decided just to eat in our tent. So you can see this is what we have. We got our, our chicken with our potatoes. We also got our carrots with apples and our dessert and even got our tea ready look at this look at this even got our tea ready <laughs> so we're just gonna enjoy it and eat it now
I don't think I've ever eaten food in a tent before like this first time. <laughs> but it's uh, better. Ah, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Do we have napkins? Yes, we do. All right here. Okay. Have a lot of good flavor. Right? Mm-hmm. Grilled potato. <laughs> That's right. I love it. Pretty good. <laughs> We already cleaned our campground a little bit, you know. That way there's no food left out, nothing like that, no, no trash. Because we don't want to attract any bears or... It's just good to keep everything clean. That way we avoid any insects, bugs, just literally anybody to come to our campsite. So I don't know why people do cheers, I'm not sure why. But we're happy, so cheers. <laughs> <laughs> wow, my tea still feels hot. Hmm? My tea still feels hot. Mm -hmm, I like it that it keeps it. You're right, that tea's good. Mm -hmm. Put it back in here, on the floor. Alrighty guys, me and my love, we're both tired and we're ready to go to bed. It's already past 11 o'clock, so everything's been done and we're gonna go to sleep on our final night here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, hope it was fun. And we really enjoyed our last day here and we look forward to the morning, hopefully when it arrives. So, hope you guys have a good night. See y'all tomorrow. Good morning guys. We woke up for our final night here. Not final night, final morning. <laughs> I wish we stayed longer. But yeah, we uh, read some Bible right now. We read two chapters again. We read chapter 30, 33 and 34 of Jeremiah. And today I want to show you guys uh, another popular verse you probably guys heard of. It's from Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. This is actually, I got a verse somebody told me on my birthday a long time ago. It's a really good verse to remember or to memorize. So this is how it goes. Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. The lesson I take here is that God wants us to call unto Him. God wants us to pray to Him. God wants us to talk to Him because He's going to answer our prayer. He doesn't say when He's going to answer the prayer, but He says He will, right? So that's the lesson for us is call unto God, talk to Him. If you're having problems, if you're having, if you need help with something, if you are questioning things, call unto God and God says He'll answer thee. And dig into His Word, read the Bible, because that's where you'll find your answers. And the last part of that verse I was going to say is that He's going to show you great and mighty things which thou know is not. Sometimes we think in a specific way, but God says His, his ways and His thoughts are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. You know, God will show us a way you never thought would be possible. You know what I mean? That's what he's saying. He'll show you things that you don't know. So just trust God and trust me. He's going to show you some ways you won't even know. And then the last part we read is that it's still talking about how Jer uh, Jeremiah the prophet is telling the children of Israel that, hey, you know, you're going to get captured. They hey, the king of Babylon is going to come. And God also told them, listen, after seven years, let your servants go. Let them go free. And the children of uh, Judah, they obeyed God for a little bit, but then they changed their mind. You know, if we obey God, we need to obey Him 100%. Don't change your mind. And because when God makes an, uh, an agreement, when God makes a, a promise with us, He's going to keep it, you know. We need to do the same. We need to keep our promises that we made to God. Anyway, um, this is the lesson we wanted to share today. We're going to go ahead and pray right now and start cleaning up and maybe cook, cook some breakfast, right? Mm -hmm. And then start heading back home. All right, guys, it's official. Taking down the tent. I'll go ahead and get it started. Looks like our tea's ready. Looks like we also got corn we're gonna eat for our last breakfast meal. Then we got avocado toast again, right? With lemon. I got some bread with honey. Very simple, very simple breakfast. I'm doing no sugar this morning since I'm doing honey on my tea, so it's gonna taste real good. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I can't drink tea without sugar. Mm. Yummy. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it? Does it feel like it's cooked? Yeah, 
pretty good. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Sweet and nice. This is some healthy, good, good food. <laughs> good stuff. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, this is going to be the end of our fun adventure here in West Virginia. Kind of sad to leave here. We had a good time here. We were able to do a lot of fun stuff. We cooked a lot of delicious food. Mm -hmm. Did all the stuff that we planned, like fishing, biking, and hiking. Um, but yeah, anyway, it was fun. Definitely come back here again. Mm -hmm. My favorite part was just relaxing here, reading books and fishing. And I really enjoyed sleeping in the tent, just in the fresh air. Just having uh, that v ventilation of the fresh air. Oh man, it was so awesome. I haven't slept like this, I think, at home. Mm -hmm. Like I slept here in the nature. It was good. How about you, babe? Me too. It was nice. My favorite was the fire, just making fire and cook food. The food tastes better here for some reason. <laughs> and I agree. I, I forgot to mention, I did like the fire part too. Just in the evening when, you know, everything's quiet. Just sit around the fire and just relax. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. So... Hopefully we can do another trip like this sometime in the future. Um, I, I don't know where we're going to go to next, but this was definitely so fun. Mm -hmm, definitely. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you enjoyed having my wife in it. I'm so happy she came with me and we did a fun video together. If you like watching these kind of videos, consider subscribing. Uh, and if you like this video, give it a... Thumbs up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to start heading back now. And uh, thanks for watching. And I hope we catch you in the next video. God bless. <laughs>